Music comes in many different varieties. According to Spotify, there's roughly 1300 music genres. But here's a question. What if we ranked these music genres by danger? That would be odd. Music doesn't seem to be very dangerous, right? Wrong. If we ranked these 1300 genres from least to most dangerous, the number one spot would go to danger music. There's an entire music genre dedicated to being dangerous and it is insane. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the world of danger music. The Wikipedia of Danger Music states that it is based on the concept that some pieces of music can or will harm either the listener or the performer. And we are not talking about mosh pitting at a Travis Scott concert. We are talking about smashing glass and throwing it into the crowd, cutting dead animals in half, and bulldozing an entire music set. The band responsible for these events is Hana Tarash, a two-member band in Japan that was popular in the 1980s. This time period was unique for the music scene in Japan. Alternative punk styles of music really exploded during this time. Noise music became very popular, so popular that Japanese noise music had its own category called Japan noise. And Hana Tarash was considered one of these Japan noise bands, but they had their own niche. Danger. Power drills, wrecking balls on chains, crates of glass bottles, and saws. These were all a part of Hana Tarash's live performances. It was common for injuries to occur and the venue they played at to be fully or partially damaged after Hana Tarash performed. Their music was truly dangerous. But their most dangerous show took place in 1985 in Tokyo's Superloft. Before showing up to this show, audience members were given a piece of paper, and once they looked down and read the piece of paper, they realized it was a waiver that they had to sign before entering the show. The waiver made them acknowledge that attending this show is dangerous and audience members may be harmed during the live performance. I'm sure some unaware audience members thought this was just precautionary measures in case a mosh pit got out of hand, but they would get a rude awakening very soon. Midway through the performance, Yamantaka Ai, the singer of the group, smashed through the side of the venue with a bulldozer, and he started wreaking havoc, destroying the entire set, putting a hole into the wall, and chasing audience members with the bulldozer. There is no video of the event, but there are some insane photos. Yamantaka later spoke about the event, and he said this, We got on this thing and rode it bang through the doors of the hall. It'll spin a full 360 degrees so we were spinning it and driving it through the audience, chasing them around. When suddenly there was this wall we spun into and opened up a rather large hole. The wind came blowing in, the place was all concrete walls and no windows. We smashed everything. And after the bulldozing event, the band was not done yet. After the entire set was completely smashed due to the bulldozer, Yamantaka wanted to throw a Molotov cocktail onto the rubble, but thankfully, before he could do so, audience members convinced him not to, and at that point, the show had to come to a stop. As you can imagine, the venue was not pleased about this situation. The band was fined 600,000 yen, which is roughly 9,000 US, for repairs to the venue. And after this, Hana Tarash was forbidden from performing at the vast majority of venues, until the 1990s, when the band agreed to put an end to their destructive behavior. The bulldozer incident is definitely the most popular destructive event related to this band, but there are still quite a few other ridiculous stories. Other notable events are cutting a dead cat in half with a machete and throwing it into the crowd, Yamantaka strapping a circular saw to his back, which was constantly running, which ended up almost cutting his leg off, breaking glass and throwing shards into the crowd, throwing crates of glass bottles into the crowd, and by the looks of it, brought a wrecking ball flail on stage and most likely caused a lot of destruction. These events stamped Hana Tarash as one of the most destructive bands to ever perform live, and rightfully so. But as I was doing my research, I came across another solo artist that fits into the same category of danger music. Meet Justice yelled him. His instrument of choice? Broken glass. 
Justice finds broken pieces of glass, mostly shaped similar to a ramp or a right angle triangle, and puts his mouth on the glass and vibrates it using his voice. The broken piece of glass then vibrates, which is picked up by a small microphone he places on the glass. The mic is then sent to different effects pedals to give the sound a unique texture. As you can imagine, this can get messy. The glass often cuts his mouth area, leaving him and the instrument smeared in his blood. Justice has stated that he doesn't intentionally cut his face with the glass, it just happens throughout the performance. In an interview, Justice said, I'm never even conscious that I've cut myself until after the show when someone says, you'd better clean yourself up. It's like the playing is an out of body experience in which I never feel pain. And to top it all off, once he has finished his live performance, he smashes the piece of glass on top of his head. Now, let's rewind the clock. Before Justice yelled him and Hannah to rush, one of the first recognized danger music artists was Dick Higgins. And his situation was interesting. Higgins wrote scores that he considered to be danger music, but he didn't perform every single one. So the same way you can record a song and never perform it, Dick Higgins wrote ideas for danger music, but didn't perform all of them himself. He created 43 different scores, ranging from not very dangerous to extremely dangerous. Some scores are so dangerous that it's likely that nobody will ever perform them. Let's take a look at some of his famous scores. Before we do that, if you want to support me and join our community marbles races, you can press the join button below and choose the second or third option, and this will enter you into the marble race. If you win a race, you'll get a shout out at the end of one of my videos, and your username will be engraved in the marbles hall of fame. And to watch any of the community marble races we do, just become a member and you can view them. Back to Dick Higgins' Danger Music Scores. Danger Music Number 2. Hat, rags, paper, heave, shave. A little odd, but Dick Higgins himself performed this act. Danger music number 15. Work with eggs and butter for a time. Again, very weird, but Higgins performed this act as well. Danger music number 17. Scream, 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 scream. Various people have decided to perform this act. Danger music number nine. Volunteer to have your spine removed. As of 2024, nobody has stepped up to perform this act. Dick Higgins was one of the first artists to bring attention to danger music. And once he planted the seed, Justice yelled him and Hannah Tarash took it to another level and the genre grew to become disturbingly dangerous. From chopping dead cats in half, cutting your face with glass, causing chaos with wrecking balls and circular saws, to bulldozing an entire music set. Danger music really lives up to its name. But why? What is the reason for this type of art? The typical answer to this question falls along the lines of, this is some type of anti-art that pushes the boundaries of normal art and makes the listener question what is and isn't considered music. This does make sense, but it's not fully satisfying to me. Here's what I think is the real reason for the creation of danger music. People love to experience the extremes. We always want to experience them. The fastest car, the tallest building, the best sports players, the tallest person, the most expensive house. You clicked on this video to see the most dangerous music genre. We are always intrigued by the extremes. When people push the boundaries of art and music, they are pushing the boundaries of experience. They are creating those extreme experiences that just so happen to intrigue us as humans. And that's what danger music and noise music is. They are just the extremes. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about danger music and remember, if you want to volunteer to get your spine removed, make sure you put it on YouTube so I can make a video about it.